Uh, President Xi and Putin met on today, I guess, um, and released a pretty lengthy statement uh, after that meeting. Just moving a little bit further back from the meeting itself, how does the president view the relationship between China, Russia, Xi, and Putin uh, it, through the lens of his broader foreign policy goals, agenda items, relationships? Well, uh, we, the president views it, uh, views it as we have our own relationship with China. Uh, Secretary Blinken spoke to China's Foreign Minister Wang and underscored, just recently, last week, and underscored the global security and economic risk posed by further Russian aggression against Ukraine, and conveyed that de-escalation and diplomacy are the responsible way forward. Uh, we've also conveyed that destabil a destabilizing conflict in Europe would impact China's interests all over the world, uh, and certainly China uh, should know that. Uh, so certainly we have our own relationship where we engage directly uh, at a very high level, uh, as you all know. Uh, but our focus right now is continuing to unite with allies and partners to respond decisively if Russia further invades Ukraine. Are there any concerns about that relationship if it gets closer, if it becomes more intertwined in terms of U.S. posture and, and role in geopolitical spheres? Well, uh, again, what we have control over is our own relationships and uh, the projection of our own values uh, and also uh, looking for ways to work uh, with countries even where we disagree, and that is part of diplomacy. Uh, I would note that um, because some of the reporting has accurately assessed or, or, you know, raised the question of what took place in these conversations, we don't have anything to update on that. I don't think you would expect, but uh, the size and the scope of economic measures on the table uh, that we're talking about as it relates to Russian aggression or the potential of invasion are unprecedented. It would put pose massive consequences for the Kremlin uh, and the inputs to, and I think it's important for people to understand that the inputs to the major foundational technologies of the world still come from the West. Um, and so there is an enormous amount of power we have as we work to continue to strengthen uh, our, uh, our uh, diplomatic efforts with our partners around the world.